Hi everybody, this is B, and today I'm doing the December book of the month. Um, sorry if it's this late, a lot of things came up. December was busy, Gen well, getting into January, it's going to be busy. But anyway, um, this is the book of the month, Elders, by Ryan McLevin. And it's another Mormon book. I didn't really fully read the book, I just grabbed it at the Dollar Tree and just like, hey, I'm going to read it. Um, so basically this setting is around mid-early 2000s, so about, uh, yeah, about between 2003, 2007, around that, around that time. Um, and it's about this, this boy from the United States, he gets to, uh, do a mission in Brazil, and it's about him struggling with his faith. And his companion that he's stuck with for his missionary. And just, it's overall kind of like a, um, well, it's not 100% religious, but it's just like a light read, um, missionary book in, in a way. Um, there's some passages in there. There's some, um, basic stuff. It's more... I wouldn't even classify it as a missionary book, really, but it's just, um, just a basic read. It's not 100% religious, so if you're not really religious or you're not a Mormon, you can still read it. Um, I thought it was okay read for what it is. It normally runs for U.S. $26 and Canada $31, but I got it for a dollar, the Dollar Tree. Um, I'll read you the little insider here. Elder Mick Lloyd, outspoken, surely a brash American, is nearing the end of his mission in Brazil. For nearly two years, he has spent his days studying the Bible in the Book of Mormon, knocking on doors, teaching missionary lessons, experimenting on the Word. His new partner is Elder Passios, a devout, ambitious Brazilian who found salvation in solace in the church after his mother's early death. The two men are at first suspicious of each other, and their work together is frustrating, fruitless. That changes when a beautiful woman and her husband offer the missionaries a chance to be heard, to put all their practice to good use, to test the middle of their faith. But before they can bring the cup of baptism, they must confront their own long-held beliefs and doubts, and the simmering tensions at the heart of their friendship. Unspiringly honest and beautiful written, Ryan McLevin's first novel is at once a compelling portrait of relationship, imbalance, and potent meditation on the abiding nature of faith. Elders announces the debut of an exquisitely talented writer. Um, and by the way, just reading this to you, um, the ending is not what you think it is. Um, I, that's the one thing I didn't like about this when I read this, is the, the ending was abrupt. Um, I just didn't like how it ended. It's one of those, you just, you'll have to read it to understand, but I think the ending could have been a lot better. Um, I feel like it wasn't, the ending wasn't finished. It wasn't, it didn't do it well done. It wasn't fully as it, exquisite, not exquisite, execute. It didn't execute right. So that's honestly how I felt about the ending. Um, it was pretty decently good. Um, Sometimes there's part of it that's kind of boorish. Like, I was just trying to skim through and not actually read it. Um, so I would put it, like, at from 1 to 10. Like, 1 being really bad, 10 being really good. I'll put about a 5. So it's really more of a book to, like, fill your time, basically. It's not like, oh, wow, this book is amazing. Or this book is really terrible. It was just in between. Um, that's just my personal thoughts. So... Yeah, and where you can get it, I'm sure you can get it off the Dollar Tree or Dollar Journal. Um, you can always look online. I don't see, like, a uh, publisher's name. Oh, it's Hogar Hogarth. Um, www.hogarthbooks.com. So it's www.ho. G A R T H B O O K S dot com, and I'll actually put the URL in the description box. Um, and it says New York, of course. Um, B, 
But yeah, it says that he grew up, the author grew up in a Mormon church and resigned his membership in his mid-twenties. His fiction and nonfiction appeared in many journals, including the Paris Review, a Steiner Fellow at Stanford from 2009-2011. He currently lives with his wife in Los Angeles. Oh, yep, and it also says it's also available in, in an ebook. So, if you don't want to grab the book, this is available as an ebook. So probably you can get it off those, um, I know BAM does, uh, ebooks. So try Amazon, BAMs, anything that sells ebooks, you can check this out. It's Elders, and of, and of course I'll put the title and the author and then the website down below. But anyway, that's it and staying in tune with my book. Thank you for watching. You can follow me on other social media sites. Information will be in the description box. Have a good day.